hi thank you so much for clicking on my video i'm sorry for the background it's my room it's a mess i am really lazy to clean it especially because i'm gonna be moving in a few months so if you can't deal with that i'm sorry you can click off i don't mind but thank you so much for clicking on this video as you can tell by the title i'm gonna be talking about community college and transferring so i have done two years in community college i'm going to be transferring next fall to university of oregon um so let's get started so a lot of there's a lot of negativity when it comes to community college a lot of people saying you're making a mistake you should go straight into the four year if you're not ready to go into four year yet it's completely fine to take the community college route i did it a bunch of my friends have done it it is completely okay for you to do it's i'm gonna say this a lot of people have spoken about how you're more likely to get accepted into a four-year if you come from a community college when it comes to the application process of transferring it could seem like a lot it could seem like a lot of stress and if you feel like you can't do it alone you can't ask your family members to help you out it's 100 percent okay for you to talk to the people in your school about it, whether that be in high school or that be in college, community college. You can talk to people. They have dealt with applications. They've done it many times. They know what they're doing and they're, they're here to help you. I didn't ask for help because I was just too shy about it. I was like, I, I wanna be able to do this on my own as well, but I, I kind of regret not asking for help because I would have done it a lot sooner than later. Um, I turned my application in about two weeks before deadline and I regret not doing it earlier. I would constantly stay up thinking about it because I knew that I had to get it done. I knew that I wanted to get it done, but it was just this whole thing where I just didn't really want to do it because it's doing an application is scary you really don't know what to add they ask a lot of questions and asking for help is one of the easiest things that you could do to get this application done when it comes to the requirements it depends on what school you go to i personally decided to go out of state i live in california but i decided to go to oregon because i first of all wanted to get out of california for a bit at least for two years you know I, i'd come back for the breaks but i feel like i need to get out of california for a little bit and experience life outside of california um it's not that far either so i can come back whenever i need to come back um another thing is that it was a lot easier for me to transfer into oregon than going in state because at least in california when you transfer you need 60 credits in order to be you know qualified and then you also have to take some of the classes that are required in order for you to be able to transfer in general i didn't want to go in that direction i when you transfer outside of the state it is at least half of the credits that you need like transferring in california so i know i know someone who is transferring from community college to ucla which is like good for you man like i cannot be able to do that because he started community college right after high school once the summer hit he started taking classes in summer and i knew i needed a little break so i just started in the fall of 2020 because i i need a little break um i did end up taking summer classes last summer because I knew that I wanted to transfer this semester and I knew that if I hadn't done it I might I I don't know I could have had enough credits to transfer but I didn't want to risk it so I took two classes um one of them was only like one credit but you know I couldn't I just didn't really want to risk not having enough credits in order to be able to transfer so yeah another thing is that you should definitely sign up for scholarships apply to these scholarships you never know they might be able to grant you a scholarship i signed up as soon as i finished my application in oregon they give you this you know they send an email asking you to sign up for scholarships um my best friend didn't get that email i did get that email so i don't know if it's like depends on what your situation is 
I, I, I don't really know, but um, I also signed up for a scholarship that my dad, my dad's job like gives out to people and I'm still waiting to hear back. They're supposed to announce who won at the end of this month, so in like 10 days. And you know, I'm very anxious because this is the first time where I'm gonna be without my parents. And as I mentioned, I'm first generation, so it's like, there's a lot of pressure on me in order to succeed and make my parents proud. And it's not even like, I wanna be able to succeed and do all of these things that my parents weren't able to do and help them out the way that they helped me out. College is just a very emotional subject for my family in general. And I'm sure for every first gen, it's a very emotional topic. You know, we gotta get that degree, period. Anyways, um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking over my notes and it's, I'm, you know, about to finish my my last semester at community college. I'm in the process of finals right now, so I'm like all over the place right now. I um I feel like I should have waited to do this video, but I know that if I were to wait, my my thoughts would kind of just get out the window because I would completely forget what I wanted to talk about. So I'm kind of glad that I'm doing it now, but I feel like I should be resting a little bit since I've been working my ass off on these finals and studying and all of these things you know um i'm trying to think of what else i can talk about yeah no but as i mentioned before if you're planning on you know transferring uh, once you finish community college make sure you read the requirements on their page once you you know want to apply because there could be things that you're missing and you should be able to take them even in the summer like i'm sure that you can talk to admissions about it and be like hey you know i'm gonna take these classes in the summer i was still wondering if i can you know figure out whatever it is between if it's a decline or acceptance like i just would want to know now before like i sign up for these classes and just end up having to take them for no reason which is like take them for a reason you know not only because of transferring but do it for your own good like take these classes because you feel like you need these classes you know sign up for backup schools that's important backup schools is i didn't sign up for any backup schools my thing with oregon was a hit or miss it was either i get in or i continue community college and just sign up for you know apply to different colleges outside of that you know but I was very fortunate enough to have been accepted and I didn't need my backup school even though I should have had a backup school when I was in the process of like oh my god like am I gonna get accepted or not I wanted to apply to a backup school but it was too late for me to even do that so you know it's important for you to kind of have a list of what schools you want to get into and you know if you don't get into your first choice there's always your backup which is good you know just you got to make sure that you meet the requirements first though so that's really important meet your requirements have a backup and apply <laughs> just do all of these things talk to your counselors i spoke to my counselor or a counselor you don't really have a counselor in community college at least in my school we didn't have a counselor we had counselors that we can speak to i spoke to a counselor about transferring um they pointed me towards the direction of transferring in california but i knew that i wanted to transfer outside of california um i did the classes that i was supposed to take i don't think we had any requirements besides english and math um so i was very fortunate enough because in california and any UC or CSU school, they have requirements of what certain classes you're supposed to take. So I was very lucky that I didn't have to take all of these courses that they were trying to like make me take because I knew that some of these courses I would be doing so much better in person and at the time we were doing online because we were still high in numbers in COVID, by the way. I graduated during COVID, so that sucked, but it's for the best. It was for the best that we did an online graduation 
and now you know two years later i am going into the university of oregon which i'm very 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 excited about i'm very nervous because well i'm not gonna be alone over there i have my boyfriend who's in oregon right now but i'm very nervous because as a first gen i'm leaving my parents here you know i'm gonna be alone over there for the first time of my life because i've never really ever done anything alone and i'm not like i said i'm not gonna be alone but i'm not gonna have my parents there and i've always had my parents with me and i know that i can call them and text them and all of these things all these sweet things but it just won't be the same not having my parents with me but i feel like i need to explore now that i'm 20 or turning 20 this week um so yeah you know that's all i can really say i'll probably do a little follow-up video when i do settle into oregon to let you guys know what that's like i don't know i don't know maybe i'll do it maybe i won't but thank you for you know thank you for watching i'm really awkward i not good in front of cameras but i i just i wanted to do this because i didn't really have anyone on like youtube that i watched that kind of spoke about transferring um but yeah you know if you have any questions you can ask about my experiences so far maybe i missed a few things i can say it in the description or like in the comments i don't know okay thank you